An emotional reaction tonight from a mother after Modesto police arrested the suspected driver of a car that hit her son and left him to die in the street. That, that part's the part that's hard to wrap my head around that he's actually gone and I don't get those hugs or mom, I need you calls. A week ago tonight, 23 year old Dakota Stockton was crossing the road when he was hit by a car that was involved in street racing. Now tonight, police announced that they have arrested the driver of the car involved in that crash, but they are still looking now for others who took part in that street race. That accident happened at around 1130 at McHenry and Standiford Avenues and Stockton died at the scene. The driver drove away. New tonight, KCRA 3's Orca Mana spoke with the victim's mother, and she says, well, it's been a really hard week. She is continuing to push for justice. These are our family that have passed away. The globes on this display help Diana Stockton honor her loved ones who are no longer here. She's heartbroken to know her son Dakota will now have his own spot. You don't ever expect to have to add your 23-year-old to a memorial. Modesto police say Dakota was killed in a hit and run crash one week ago on July 6 near McHenry and Standiford Avenues. A memorial with candles and flowers now sits where Dakota's young life was taken too soon. It hits me like a ton of bricks. It's really hard. Diana tells me she's still processing what happened, but as she grapples with her grief, she wants to make sure Dakota is remembered as the bright light he was. He had a great soul. Um, he gave the best hugs. Ooh. He was a good person. Investigators say the driver who hit Dakota was street racing four other cars. That driver, identified as 26 year old Ahmad Fayaz, has now been arrested. It's crazy to think that that's, you know, what took his life. Um, it's so senseless. Modesto police sending out a message reminding everyone that street racing is not only illegal, it is dangerous. The excessive speeds from racing increases the risk of car accidents and can cause catastrophic injuries. It's not worth it. And people in the area say the loss of life is cause for concern. That's really sad, you know. Um, I do hear about street racing and it is pretty common in Modesto and it's very unfortunate, you know. Modesto police also saying the traffic safety unit is actively working on identifying the other drivers involved in this incident and would like to encourage them to come forward. All of them need to come forward and, and take their punishment. As Diana pushes for justice, she'll continue to carry Dakota with her everywhere she goes, but it's still hard knowing his future was cut short. That's been robbed of him and that's really hard for me to accept actually. That's probably the hardest part. Witnesses who might have seen the crash last week are asked to call the Modesto Police Department. Reporting in Modesto, Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News. And Ahmad Fayaz, the driver of police, is responsible for Dakota's death, has been charged with felony hit and run resulting in death and for street racing.